Hi everyone, welcome back to Brown Bell Abroad and thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I first want to just send um, my love and gratitude to everyone that has recently subscribed to my channel and in some way has felt connected to my journey here um, in Australia and um, outside of America. So I felt inspired to um, talk about what I've learned from sharing my story as a black woman living abroad. Um, one of my videos, or I think two of them, have gone, garnered a lot of attention over the past few months and um, I just felt like I should share kind of what I've been observing in the background and reflecting on. So I'm only going to touch on three things because I am mindful of the time and I don't want to draw this out. Um, the first thing that I learned is that all of our stories matter. Um, I know a lot of people were drawn to the caption of an African American, what it's like living abroad or living in Australia and why I left. And I realized that it's not just my story that matters, but it's the culmination of everyone planting seeds of awareness, seeds of understanding and knowledge to inspire um, ourselves to continue moving forward, but also to inspire other people to take that, that first step. My intention in sharing my story was for black women, like black women that look like me, that feel a yearning for a change and a transformation, and maybe they feel apprehensive to start, and I wanted to be that source of inspiration for them. So I really do believe that I fulfilled my intention. And I hope that these women also begin to share their stories and plant those seeds for other women to follow suit. The second thing that I learned is that not everyone will understand or celebrate your story, but you should share it anyway. What I've learned is that you really do just need to detach from the perspectives of, of others. Um, because a lot of the times the way that we interpret what we hear and see is based on our own egocentric reality. Um, we only know what we know. So when we try to interpret other people's lived experiences, sometimes they're limited because we've never experienced it ourselves. Um, and here comes the, the, one of the most key lessons is to learn the art of deep listening. Listen to gain knowledge, to empathize, to show compassion, rather than to respond or debate. It's so important that we step back and we allow people to share their intimate and um, vulnerable experiences what, regardless of um, whether we think that they're valid or not, they are valid because, because it is their lived experience and we should celebrate it. It doesn't mean that we have to conform to it, but it means that we should celebrate people for who they are rather than who we want them to be so that they can fit into the boxes that make us feel comfortable. So that's all I really wanted to share because I felt like it was important to encourage people, especially those that look like me, to feel empowered to continue sharing their stories regardless of what people think. Um, I felt liberated in sharing my story and I still do to this day. I'm continuously finding new ways to be vulnerable and in each of those experiences, I learn more about myself through that process. So I guess that's the last seed of wisdom that I can pass on to you. Um, thank you so much for tuning in today. This was a short and sweet video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And again, please share your story. We all need to hear it. Be well.